lot of millennials here tonight. You know, I just uh, I just turned 27 on MySpace, and uh, which yeah, I still use. It. It's about 34 on Facebook and about 38 on Tinder, and uh, I'm 57 years old as far as the AARP knows because I like the discounts. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, uh, if you if you are a millennial, think about this for a second. Your entire life, drinking and driving is against the law. But here's a little fact, you can, you can Google this. It didn't become a law in the United States until the mid 80s. Prior to 1985, DUI was called getting your car home. That's what it was called. And no one looked at you like you were an alcoholic and had to wear a jumpsuit and pick up lint. No, I know it's a good, it saves lives, okay? But when I was growing up, the law was open container, meaning you could be drunk driving your car, but you couldn't be actively drinking. Now, I swear, strike me dead if I'm exaggerating by a little bit. This happened in the early 80s when I was a kid. Picture this kind of parenting today and this kind of police officer officering today. Driving with my dad, has a sip of beer, all of a sudden, woo, 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 woo. So we're pulling over to the side of the road, dad turns to me and goes, hold this. <laughs> I'm 11. Cop comes up, yeah, I, I saw you with the beer, and I see that the kid's got it, you have to hand it to me. My father's like, I just opened it. Cop's like, I'm sorry, we have an open container law in Massachusetts. I could find you $25. My father's like, <laughs> Give me the beer. I hand the beer to my dad. Before he hands it to the cop, he a little quick, right? <laughs> Cop's like, hey, we got a wise ass, huh? He's on the side of the road pouring the beer out, and my dad's like, are you gonna give me the 65 cents to replace that beer? The cop's like, I'm sorry, apologizing to my father. Let's him go with a warning. Dad turns to me as we're driving off, and he goes, let that be a lesson. You can't trust cops. <laughs> Imagine that today. Oh, my God. I'm off in college a few years uh, you know, after that, right? And, uh, and you, now it's a big thing, drinking and driving. And my parents are like, hey, uh, no matter what time of night it is, wherever you are, you give us a call. We'll come pick you up because we don't want you drinking and driving. No way I'm the first person to do this, but uh, I tested him on it. I wanted to see what kind of response time. Are they really going to pick your drunk ass up in the middle of the night? Or are they going to have you call a cab? You know what I mean? So, again, if you're a millennial, just pretend like what I'm saying is actually real. I found a phone booth. You guys know that? And uh, I, I had what they call a calling card. And uh, I called my dad in the middle of the night. And I was like, hey, I had too much to drink, man. You promised you'd come get me. I need you to write this address down. Okay, it's, uh, I'm in Cancun, Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> Spring break, man, on my way to a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> hello, Dad, hello, hello, he hung up. It's the type of guy my father is. <laughs> Next day, same phone call all over again, two, three in the morning. Mom, yeah, Dad and I are hammered down here in Mexico. <laughs> Come get us and pack a t-shirt. So, uh, yeah. That's right, my mom's a trooper. She came down, won the wet t-shirt contest. And... That's where she met my stepfather, Pedro. So that worked out pretty well. <laughs>